Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the singles readings. So, we are going to start with the fire signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is for the next seven days. What do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Singles. I mean, like, completely single. You're single. This is for singles. If you are in a coupled relationship, this reading is not for you. This is for singles. What do we got for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the next seven days? So seven days from the day that you watch this. What do we got for the fire signs that are single? Getting unstuck. Somebody is getting unstuck, seeing things differently. New perspective here. Definitely a new perspective. No longer letting your emotions get in the way. Whew. Mm, wow. Mastering your emotions, just like I said. You are absolutely the master of your emotions at this time. Congratulations. When you get to that point, you can consider yourself triumphant. No shit. Ooh, you may not be wanting a commitment, though. It's kind of funny. It is kind of funny with that like that. I mean, yeah. You know, maybe you want a commitment. But maybe you're just starting to have faith and trust again. That, this could be the beginning, right? Having faith and trust. Believing in yourself. Following your own path. Really listening to your inner guide at this time. But there's still a lack of commitment here. A lack of happiness. There's some discontent here. Maybe it's not what you, maybe you're still going through some sort of enlightenment, you know? You're starting to see things from a new perspective. You're starting to have faith and trust again. Maybe it's not time to just rush right into something, right? You're regaining control. You're regaining momentum at this time, right? You're starting to have faith again. The faith is just coming back, right? You're headed in the right direction. And it looks like you are going to have a new beginning here. You are. You're about to, or you're in the process of finishing up a phase, right? Or maybe you just completed a phase. Some sort of lesson has been learned here. And you're about to have a new beginning there, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got a new beginning here on the table. A big one. And it's because you've changed. You've changed or you're in the process of changing, whatever it is. You are in the process of changing your perspective. There's no doubt. It's like you're not stuck anymore. You're getting unstuck. Letting go of the emptiness. It's like the feelings, the old ways are starting to dissipate. I see you starting to have faith. I think we're at the beginning though. Yeah, there's some disillusion here. There's confusion. There's... Oh, you know, what do I want? What do, what do I want? <clears throat> You're thinking about what you want. It might not be the right time. It may not be the right time to get yourself into any kind of commitment because you're still working hard on <coughs> bringing success to your to yourself. Looks to me like you're putting in effort to make yourself successful, you know? You're still healing from a situation. I don't think you've completely healed yet, honestly. You may feel like you, you right now you, you can't, you don't, it's not the right time. You haven't healed. You haven't healed from something yet. Okay, you haven't. Things may be a little upside down in your life. Maybe things are a little chaotic right now. Maybe you don't have time to really 
engage yourself with with love you know it's like yeah i'm starting to have faith i'm starting to believe i'm starting to maybe look but you may not be ready <laughs> you may not be ready i mean i have to i have to be honest here um you're com you've probably just completed something really big in your life. You may be moving or planning to move, okay? Maybe you're planning on relocating or something else. I think your focus right now is probably not on jumping into any kind of commitment. I don't think that you're ready to jump into anything because you're going through some sort of transition. And, and this transition may have to do with relocation it may have to do with moving to another space moving to another spot in the world right i don't know for some of you that is the case and you're you're weighing your options right now you're in the process of weighing your options and you're really listening you're being you're being spoken to it's like that your inner guide is speaking to you you're being divinely guided you're listening i think that you're you're, you're receiving the messages you're hearing the messages and you're still working on yourself, your self-love, you know, and I think that that's probably the right decision. It probably is. You're probably still dealing with some pain that hasn't completely been delivered yet. And, you know, you're in, you're on the verge of being ready to work with somebody, but I'm not sure the time is quite yet. You know, I'm not sure you're ready yet. Um, things are still a little unbalanced and I think you're working on yourself right now you know you're starting to believe in yourself you're starting to believe your the messages that you're hear, hearing um you may be deepening your spiritual practice right now maybe that's your focus maybe your focus is on your spiritual practice your yourself your spiritual self your soul you're working your soul searching self-love absolutely absolutely and, and I think what's happening here is a lot of you are developing um, more psychic abilities. And I think that you're feeling it. You know, you're really feeling it. You're feeling that right now, you know, I am being called to work on my life purpose. I'm being called to work on my soul work. I'm being called to nurture myself. And I think what, what's happened here is somebody hasn't nurtured themselves and now they've been enlightened to the fact that, you know, I have to love myself and I got to put myself first and I, I'm going to need to dig deep to heal from my past wounds and whatever. Um, yeah, I think it's just not time. I think it's not time to accept any new opportunities. I don't think that you're wanting to right now. You may be focused on your job or focused on your business or focused on getting yourself grounded again. You may be a little ungrounded because you may be on a different spiritual level you know i see i see a very spiritual it's almost like a download you know what i mean it's like you're growing spiritually more and more and more every day your spiritual gifts are being heightened okay and right now you you're not grounded enough to get yourself into a partnership or a relationship or a commitment because you're in the process of evolving. You're in the process of going through some sort of spiritual awakening, transition, whatever it is. Um, and that may be, you know, you know, this can signify... you know, a spiritual ascension, right? So I do, I feel like you guys are like ascending to a whole nother level and that's what your focus is right now. That's what I see. 
So do I do I do I do I feel like you guys are gonna fall in love this week? Maybe with yourself. And I think that's a good thing. I think that you guys are letting go of something that was unfulfilling from your past. You may be clinging to it still by a hair or a lot, whatever. Somebody is still clinging to the past. And realizing that it's time to let it go, but it takes time to let it go. I think you guys are headed in the right direction and you're really, really going through some sort of spiritual transformation and perhaps right now is probably not the time to get yourself involved with any kind of commitment because it's all about yourself, it's about your healing, it's about your ascension. You're ascending. You're ascending. I mean, I can't pretend that love is going to come flying into your life when at this point, it's all about you. It's like you have this renewed faith in yourself. And you probably realize it's not practical. It's not the right thing to do to... get yourself involved with somebody when you're not ready. So yeah, I, I I mean, that's what I have. I feel like you guys are going through some sort of spiritual awakening that is consuming you. And it's like you're you're healing yourself right now. You're working on your self-love. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you victory and success in the long run. It is. You're going to win in the end. And it's because you're taking this time to allow this process to play out. So if you're single, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and you're still watching this, you are absolutely headed in the right direction. And it's because you're mastering your emotions. You're making the right decisions. Trust me, you are. Some of you are relocating or you're planning to relocate. And it's going to bring you together with somebody that is probably completely opposite of you. But it's somebody that you can work with. But I don't feel like you're going to meet this person this week. Or that you're even going to... I mean, are you got I see self-love. I feel like you guys have multiple options. And you know that. You know it. I think that right now you guys are... not willing to let yourself be taken advantage of by anybody. I'm not going to let myself be taken advantage of. It's like you're protecting yourself. And that's sometimes that's what you need to do.
Yeah, I think I don't think you have any desire to get into a new partnership at this very moment because you're working on yourself. So do I feel like new love is coming in? Self-love. I don't feel like you have somebody coming to sweep you off your feet. No, I don't. I feel like you understand that that's not practical right now. And I think that you know that you have to get grounded because you're be receiving all these spiritual downloads. And you know it's a time for working on you. I mean, that's what I see. I'm not going to pretend that this is going to be all butterflies and rainbows when it's not. I think that you guys are committed. You're committed to waking up. You know, to your awakening. You're committed to yourself. And that's exactly where you need to be. When you can commit to yourself in this way, success is absolutely imminent. It is. So I feel like you guys are being logical. You're being very wise in your standing and your power. And you're making a wise decision to focus on yourself. So that's what I see, fire signs. Good luck. Headed in the right direction. This is a card of transformation. You're going through a spiritual transformation right now. You're in, you're in, you're in, you're the king of the road. You're in charge. You're regaining momentum. That's where we're at. So, there it is. <laughs>